Hello everyone, it is Monday, September 12th, and it's not a hot day outside today. Finally, we're getting a little bit of relief. My air conditioner is not running, so I'm going to quick record this video before it starts up on me. Because it is getting a little bit warm at this point. All right, let's begin by showing you the latest Red River San Gabriel print that I made. Is my awesome little grandson. This is back when he was about, I would say, three years old. He used to just push his little dump truck up and down the driveway and run lap after lap after lap like a gazelle. And uh, I would get just tired watching him. But anyway, this is San Gabriel done on the Pro 100 Precision Colors inks and Precision Colors profile for it. Wonderful. It's, it's just amazing the results that you're getting with that combination. So I highly recommend it. Listen, go to the Red River site right now and find yourself some of this original paper. It'll be on the clearance section of paper. They're actually liquidating some of the older um, paper types that they were selling, you know, years ago. And they do this often as they go from one mill to the other, paper mill to the other paper mill, and often they cannot find or be able to get uh, some of the original papers. And often some papers just really don't sell so well. But this, unfortunately, uh, was discontinued because the mill could not produce a very uh, reliably, in other words, or repeatedly the same quality. But this is awesome. It was replaced by a paper type from another mill altogether, and they may not be the same paper, but it's being passed off as San Gabriel 2.0. Well, those of you who may have used that new version can tell me what the differences are. I'm going to try to get a sample uh, set of five sheets and test it myself. Pro Luster from Canon on the Pro 1 using the inks from Precision Colors and the Chroma Optimizer. Okay, what's happening? As of today, right now, he is testing a stronger version of the Chroma Optimizer. He raised the resin to liquid base proportions and he's testing it on the Pro 10, which is easier to test on because you just have little 14 ml cartridges to fill one cleaning cycle and you're running the new chrome optimizer to the system. No need to purge so much ink through it like you would have to on a Pro 1. And so he's running that. So far he says it's working wonderful with the uh, printhead not complaining at all about it. And so that's good to hear. Now, one thing that he told me, because I was always complaining, I want perfection. So I'm always complaining about slides, slight bit of uh, gloss differential maybe a little bit of bronzing, certain areas of the images. He told me, have you checked your prints that you did a few days ago? And I said, why no? I haven't been downstairs for two days. So I came down and I looked at my prints. Guess what? They now look glossier than they did when they emerged out of the printer. So something is happening as the print fully dries, the chroma optimizer maybe concentrates a little bit more. The volatile parts of the liquid base evaporate and it seems to be glossier indeed it is and this is this is actually visible to the human eye so you can see the detail on this flower is tremendous so the printer is producing images that are just beyond comparison okay this particular paper is really um, well uh, designed for images with a lot of detailing in with a good chrome optimizer that just evens out the the whole surface of the print and remember for those of you who do not know any kind of gloss enhancer and they're only available on certain printers not all the printers have them i wish they did but they do not the epson r800 1800 1900 and currently the R2000 use Chroma Optimizer. What is the job of the Chroma Optimizer? Is to even out the surfaces created by particles of pigment. 
And so the rougher the surface is, and this is at a microscopic level, the more light gets diffracted away from the surface and it'll look kind of matte. So to even out these areas of irregular uh, depositing of these little pigment particles, they apply that, that layer of chroma optimizer or gloss enhancer and that creates a nice even coat which then levels out all of those little irregularities and you get that beautiful even uh, quality to the image. Okay. Now on the cannons you can regulate whether you apply it only within the parameters of the image, in other words it will not affect the border or the paper base. And when you do so, of course it uses less chroma optimizer per print. But the problem is areas such as these it will not apply any. So areas with ink will actually look glossier than areas without ink. And so that actually enhances the gloss differential. Okay. It instead of improving it, it actually enhances it. So the best way to go is to apply a complete application of it. Okay. That's what you need to do. Complete application of it. And that will then produce a nice even across the board result. And in order to get it to print to the edges, the gloss optimizer or chrome optimizer, you need to use the borderless setting. Okay. And of course, then the image has to either be borderless or be constrained with a border around it. Now the image will be printed. Chrome Optimizer will go from edge to edge and will give you this results. Here's an abstract shot with a zoom lens moving in and out during the exposure. Of course, the exposure is a long exposure and you get these streaky looking colors of the lights that were in this particular scene. This is a good test for uh, bronzing and gloss differential. This is high noon storm and the sun shining through it. Again, it's greatly underexposed to be able to get this type of a uh, result here. And again, when you look at it sideways, even, perfectly even. So as good as this is, it's going to get even better because like I said, he's improving on it and getting this to be a little bit more glossy. This is Antietam Battlefield, Western Maryland. Again, one of my favorite places to go relax and uh, unwind after a stressful week. All right. That is it. I hope you enjoyed this little presentation. Remember, I'm going to be receiving the new Chrome Optimizer. I'm going to test it. If that proves to be great, we're going to go ahead and incorporate that into the current ink set and that's what you will be receiving when you order ink and I'm sure he'll give you some sort of deal to uh, if you've already purchased regular chrome optimizer you will probably be able to uh, obtain the new one at a reduced price but again even if it doesn't come to fruition I can't complain about this I really cannot it is wonderful remember for those of you who order a PG 29 card set I will be sending you a set of test prints so even before you even begin to set yourself up you will see what the results will be who else can do that I don't know of anyone else that actually provides you free test prints of their ink set most sellers are actually afraid to show you what your results will be that is the truth all right what else? PA-100 and the chips, they're being looked at right now. They're being looked at. There seems to be some truth to the uh, problem of uh, resetting and nobody knows what that problem will be, how it will manifest itself. So at that point, uh, you will have to wait a little bit. Precision Colors, I think, pulled the PA-100 cartridges out of the uh, website and he will get that solved. The provider or the uh, company that provides the cartridges are testing a new, a new chip for it as well. And it seems that everyone's doing it, but not everyone is pulling their current product out of the uh, websites. They're still selling them. And that is extremely irresponsible. And so I have to give huge kudos to Precision Colors for doing that. Uh, they're not gonna sell something that may be in question. 
whether it is or not. I'm still using my set. I haven't reached empty points, so I don't know how they will react to the resetting procedure, but I will report on that as soon as, as soon as that takes place. And that is it. I think there will be some other subjects that I'm trying to come up with now, but that's going to have to be safe for another video. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Please subscribe, like, and share. And until the next time, as always, happy printing, everyone. Bye-bye.